Oh, for initiative. He's asleep. Mm, that group is all very well. Which we, uh, we're going to deal with sleeping and resting this week, but uh, he's in the way. Just bear with me. Oh. With him gone, let's talk about issue number 33 of Dungeons and Dragons Adventure Magazine. Inside, we are going to look at sleeping and resting and variations of the above, because there are all sorts of things. Like, if you're an elf, you don't need to sleep. You can just meditate. Uh, we're also going to look at all sorts of classes for druids, including my personal favourite, the Circle of the Moon, where you, as the user, can transform into your beast form, but as a bonus action. So you could do it mid-combat without using up your whole action. You could transform and still attack. It's useful. Oh, excellent. The artwork in here is always impressive. You've got Circle of the Dreams, Circle of Spores, if you're very into your mushrooms or you're just, I don't know, a fun guy. Of course, there's a couple of new uh, creatures to be very afraid of, or if you're a DM, to be very excited by, uh, because we are starting to look at um, something that is often overlooked in D&D games. Dragons! It makes up a good portion of the title and very few people actually fight them in the end, because they're scary and awesome. But we're starting to look at them. We're also looking at hags. As with every issue of Dungeons & Dragons Adventure Magazine, there's an adventure! Because, you know, it's just an adventure magazine. And we'll look at part three of the Temple of Sekola. And again, I'm sorry, I probably am pronouncing that wrong. But it's cool, there's more maps and fun things to be engaged with, along with many new things to fight. Of course, no issue of Dungeons & Dragons Adventure Magazine will be complete without the all-important and very beautiful Math Rocks. They're rather beautiful and sort of almost orcish or maybe like foresty, so pretty handy for your druids, I think. And if you're an orc druid, then very important. They're the perfect dice, I would say. A massive thank you as always to Hache Partworks for sending this issue of Dungeons and Dragons Adventure Magazine full of actual dragons and my favourite druid circle.